I don't know what's worse. The fact that the Chiefs just got another weapon for basically nothing, or how bad the Jets are. Rossi Posse Packer Nation. Welcome to another episode of Packcast, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom Verified Grassi. And today we're going to be chit chatting about Le'Veon Bell heading to the Kansas City Chiefs and what this means not only for the Chiefs, but for the New Jersey Jets. Before we get to that, I want to do a big shout and thank you to some brand new patrons and YouTube members. First, over on patreon.com slash Tom Grassi Comedy. First, we have Joel Deal. Then we have, we are all sinners in the hands of an angry Aaron Rodgers. Preach. And then over on the YouTube side of things, we have Jake Perea. We have TieDye22. We have Nick Gonzalez. We have Lightning XZ Gaming. And we have, hi, people, Dan. Hey, a big shout out and thank you to all of you. So it was announced last evening that... Le'Veon Bell was going to the Chiefs. This, of course, coming off the wonderful news that the Jets, trying to trade Le'Veon Bell, just decided to let him go for absolutely nothing. And this was after, you know, he signed that four-year, $52.3 million deal with the Jets. God, they are just a dumpster fire, aren't they? So now the three-time Pro Bowler and two-time All-Pro joins Clyde Edwards-Hilaire and the Kansas City Chiefs on a one-year deal. It has not been announced what the contract is for yet, but I would have to imagine it's going to be for pretty darn cheap. Le'Veon Bell is known for being elusive. He's a great pass catcher, and I think the Chiefs just getting him is just, come on, like, really? The rich are just getting richer. And honestly, this deal makes sense for just about everybody. The Chiefs are signing him for what is assumed to be a low price, so it's low risk. And on top of that, they are getting a great player that, in my opinion, the Jets just did not utilize correctly. Now, Le'Veon Bell right now is 28 years old, so you can argue he's still in his prime. And for the Chiefs, they were ranked 13th in rushing yards coming into this next week, but now... I mean, I imagine that that's probably going to go up. Clyde edwards helaire has already been super impressive, and now you throw Le'Veon Bell back there? Yeah, that's going to be a good running tandem. Now, it, it should be noted that he is not able to play this week because he still has to go through COVID protocol, and they also have to finalize the deal, but you'll probably be seeing him on the field by the time they have to play the Jets again, which will just be a nice, happy family reunion. The Chiefs are going to kill them. Now, you could make the argument, the fact that there was no buyers for Le'Veon Bell, maybe that shows that he doesn't have it anymore. I mean, he's only played two games this season in which he's rushed 19 for 74 yards, and he, of course, suffered an injury. And last year, 245 attempts for 789 yards and three touchdowns, and that was in 15 starts. So obviously, he has not panned out for the New York Jets as much as they paid for him. The last great season that he had was back in 2017 because he sat out of all of 2018. And so now it's going to kind of say, okay... Are you going to be really good again, or, you know, did the Chiefs only waste a couple of bucks? Meanwhile, over in the New Jersey Jets corner, I again, how is Adam Gase still there? How does Dan Quinn and Bill O'Brien get fired before Adam Gase? This world makes no sense. They should have just had a fire sale and gotten rid of all of them together. So not only did they get rid of their deep threat in Robbie Anderson, who is doing well in Carolina, they, of course, got rid of Jamal Adams and traded him off into the Seattle Seahawks. And now, not only did they get rid of Le'Veon Bell, but there's talks about potentially getting rid of Quinnen Williams, their third overall pick from just last year. And listen, Williams has not been as productive as they would like in the pass rush game. He really hasn't gotten to the quarterback. And on top of that, he's not really getting pressures on them either. But he's a pretty damn good run stopper. And the most important and crazy thing is the guy's only 22 years old. Like, allow him to develop. But you know what? Listen, if Adam Gase wants to have a fire sale on the New York Jets, go right ahead. And guess what? If the Packers wind up calling and you're able to get him for a good deal, I would take that deal any day of the week. Well, it just seems like we're at pandemonium here with the Jets. I imagine they're going to be giving up on Sam Darnold and they'll try to ruin Trevor Lawrence's life over in New Jersey. But right now, yeah, they are obviously the worst team in football. And on top of that, they are just destined to just get worse and worse. When we were talking about maybe the Washington football team or maybe the Jacksonville Jaguars of being like the worst team this year and tanking for Trevor, 
Yeah, the Jets just said, hold my beer. I'm going in. And ho, ho, way on down there going. Meanwhile, for Le'Veon Bell, he just went from the worst team in the league to one of the best. And this is probably his best shot at getting a Super Bowl ring right now. So... Yeah, he's got to be pretty happy. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think that Le'Veon Bell is still the player that he was? Do you think he's going to be successful with the Chiefs? Or do you think, you know, since there was no takers, no buyers on him, he's probably just not going to really be utilized in Kansas City? Also, if you want to just say how much of a dumpster fire the Jets are in the chat, that works too. You can always find me at TomGrossyComedy.com or at TomGrossyComedy. All social media you see down below. Check out PatCast on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and of course YouTube. And a big shout and thank you to all the patrons over at Patreon.com slash TomGrossyComedy. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassi. And as always, Go Pack Go!